An oral study by Immune Therapeutics showed that peanut butter protects 67 of allergic children against allergic reactions after eating a maximum of three and a half peanuts. Whether it's peanut butter or stains, or drops of liquid peanuts, you will be able to do these things without worries. Like all other children, at the UNC my colleagues and I developed an alternative treatment, sublingual immunotherapy, abbreviated SLIT, which uses liquid drops of peanuts that are taken under the tongue. Over the past decade, DVV Technologies has further developed its unique peanut field and completed a multinational study of hundreds of children with a peanut allergy. Immunotherapy for peanut allergy means that the child is exposed daily to small and increasing amounts of peanuts in order to train the child's immune system and make it less sensitive. When I finally assumed that he was now one of the 1.6 million peanut allergy sufferers in the United States, I hoped that he would just get away with it. Unfortunately, for peanut allergies, nearly 80 of peanut allergic children keep peanuts for the rest of their lives. Immune Therapeutics has completed the world's largest study of oral immunotherapy with peanuts and nuts. These drops were tested by a multi-center NIH group called COFAR. And a study that directly compares drops of peanut butter was conducted in Johns Hopkins. Over the past 10 years, several studies have shown that oral immunotherapy can work with peanut butter. I have developed a therapy over the last 10 years that can protect children with food allergies from severe allergic reactions or even death. Sublingual immunotherapy uses liquid drops of peanuts that are absorbed through the mouth. Finally, after years of clinical trials, I am convinced that the small droplets of a peanut solution can bring us closer to reality. No one I knew had a food allergy, let alone a peanut allergy as a child. In oral immunotherapy, lightly roasted peanut flour is used to consume.